question three is the other way around. We need to differentiate, but we're not being asked to put this number in. We're asking when is the gradient equal to minus nine. So differentiating process, the same as before, times by the power, power goes down by one, x is disappear. No, sorry, number and the n disappears. And we want to now know when is this equal to minus 9. So this is the equation we're trying to solve. Notice not putting the minus 9 in there, making it equal minus 9. And of course you'll recognize that as a quadratic equation. Add the 9 to both sides, get your calculator out now, or maybe just divide everything by 3 and spot that it's quite a simple quadratic to factorize. You've got two answers. You've got x equals 1, minus 1, and x equals minus 3. They're the two points where the gradient is equal to minus 9. It does say find out what the coordinates are, so I'm now going to put the minus 1 back in here, put a minus 1 in there and a minus 1 in there. That's going to get you 11. 11 take away 1 is 10 and also putting the minus 3 in here and the minus 3 in there. So that's what, minus 27, no, 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 that's 32, isn't it? Um, so you've got two points, two points where the gradient is equal to minus 9.